Steffi Lee is now a TV star. Nikki Delventhal is in a truck camper. Adventures Over 50 has a new look, and we have some Wheeled Wonder meetup updates. This and a lot more, so stick around. What's up, blind viewers? How's everybody doing today? All right, we got some Wheeled Wonder updates. I thought we'd talk about some folks and some goings on and get you all caught up. And uh, we got lots of things to talk about, so uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? And uh, and everybody that I'm going to be talking about, there will be links below, so you can easily, that's right, quick, easy, get to uh, what I'm talking about if you want to go see the rest of the videos that I am mentioning. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Who shall we start with? Well, I think... Uh, how about Nikki? Nikki Delventhal. All right. Now, Nikki has been having problems with her Prius that she has been living in for uh, several years now. Uh, all kinds of issues. She took it to the shop. It's taken longer than she has anticipated. But she is taking this time to go out and about and uh, look into some other vehicle options to live in. So what's Nikki looking at? Well, let's go see. Love this. All right, Look at this beast. Before we pop this up, I want to show you guys something awesome. So something that's really important to me is the stealth ability. When the pop top is down, no one expects you to be in here. So this area right here turns into a bed. <laughs> the table just comes out. You flip this over and you're good. It's big enough. The fan will still work. All the power still works. All I won't have is access to the larger bed. There you go. Nikki looking into some other things some possibilities of vehicles to uh, live in because i don't know we're not too sure about the future of the prius apparently but hey it's always good to have options i think it's pretty cool though yeah so uh she is just trying it out she didn't buy it or anything that's not her deal but if you want to find out more details and info go on over to nikki's channel and check her out she's with her mom and uh they're running around pops is at home with camper the dog and uh Nikki and mom are out running around. Nikki's mom's pretty. I see where she gets her her good looks. Her mom is a pretty young lady as well. Alrighty. All right, now we got Steffi. Steffi Lee. She is involved in a TV show called Gutted. And it's about uh doing build outs. There's three different categories. Well, why don't why am i talking why why am i talking you know? i'm in colorado right now and i'm on set for a reality show called gutted this is the first season ever and i was invited to be a part of it there's three teams a van team an rv team and a school bus team we're competing to build the best like build out and i'm on the van team basically we have five days to build out an entire van hopefully we win because the winner gets a cool trophy and stuff pretty cool pretty cool so go over and check out Steffi Lee's channel and see what that is all about. Because, see, we got uh, behind the scenes. I mean, you know, all a little in the tent doing the hair and the makeup and everything. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool video. Very, very interesting. I found it interesting. And I think you will as well. Steffi Lee, the big TV star now. Oh, yeah. Go check her out. Hey, look at this. I guess YouTube does pay off after all. All right, who we got next? We got, oh, my buddy Badge. My buddy Badge has some uh, info. We're talking about the uh, the recall, the big recall, RV, RV recall due to uh, propane connections. And uh, or they're having some issues. So, uh, you know, Badge, Badge knows everything. So what does he have to say about it? Basically what we're talking about with this Abu. propane recall is this <laughs> little baby right here. This is the quick disconnect for your propane bottle. Now, this is my view, my view only. That's right, his view These only. These things are under warranty. <laughs> now, make sure that when you buy the new one, it's not made by the company that has the faulty ones. Got so that. Whatever name's on it, make sure you don't buy that one. <laughs> now, said, you can get these anywhere. Don't buy the same one. So if it's brand X, 
go out and buy brand a b or c don't go buy brand x again but yeah uh he has some good advice for you guys you RVers that may be uh involved in this recall or if you just want to check yours out and uh see for sure but it's to it's to connect for the the propane system now i know a little bit about this because i used to work in a bronze foundry and um yeah i did i did stuff like this and i we made i mean lots and lots of parts small parts big parts we made giant impellers and we made all kinds of stuff but anyway what happens is when you make a mold there's a cope and a drag which is the bottom of the top and um you put this together and there's the the mold is inside so wherever there's nothing where there's void space when you pour it that's where the metal goes now you have a thing called a riser which when the metal cools it shrinks so you put a riser on the top of it so when it cools that riser shrinks down not into the casting itself the piece and you have to cut that riser off there's a gating system that you actually pour the metal into and it goes and it flows in there's also gas holes that you put in you put rods in and um that lets gas escape during the pouring and that way all the gas comes out and doesn't go into the metal now sometimes things happen especially when you're doing big batch runs and uh i don't know the the gas port isn't put in the right spot something happens but you get gas bubbles inside the casting which makes it porous if you would cut it apart instead of it being a big solid piece of brass there's actually little holes little pockets where there was gas and other things in it could be slag also slag because whenever you do pour uh bronze you use good clean ingot which is the clean bronze and you use scrap you use so much like an 80 20 or whatever but that scrap and even the pure ingots the good clean ingots they're still dirt and that all floats to the top when uh in the crucible before you pour and the, the furnace operator he has a big thing and he skimmed the slag back and uh kind of like if you were pouring a beer if you could push all the foam back and just let the beer come out but yeah ellis stuffed all the dirt and shit so if any dirt gets in there um that will cause pockets too but if it's a big run like it is on this one it's not just one or two i don't think it's the dirt issue my guess would be that there's some kind of uh, mold issue with where the gas comes out and uh they, they caught it too late if there's a whole big batch of uh of castings that are bad somehow because when you look at them you, you can look at it and you can't tell but go over and check out badge and he will let you know all about how to uh look at it check it out what to do to uh test yours if you're not sure and uh see if you should go out and uh replace yours or not uh and yeah and if you do replace it like you said it's warranty work go replace that shit send a receipt to them folks in the bill and let them reimburse you all right what we got next now we're talking about info and good tips how about uh dreaming out loud rving they're talking about the uh tankless or instant hot water tanks so uh what do they got to say tankless water heater endless hot water you've probably heard these terms especially if you've been shopping for a new rv maybe you just purchased your new rv and you have a tankless water heater that's what we have on ours in this video i'm going to show you tips on how to be successful starting out using one of these water heaters there is a so there you go you go over and check them guys out dreaming out loud rving and uh see the tips he said there's a little bit of a learning curve but yeah walk it through it makes it look pretty simple but yeah good interesting informative video from dreaming out loud rv all right what should we talk about next how about how about the wheeled wonders and the meetups you know there's lots and lots and uh we have all i mean all kinds between the, the van builds and the schooly palooza and uh and the lola palooza and the palooza palooza and uh what's going to be next palooza and <laughs> and all kinds of stuff there's all kinds of meetups for all kinds of groups and it seems like every year there's more and more well let's talk about uh we talked about this one before rv rebel girl she's putting together a little meetup and she has some new info some little updates about hers 
So here is our loop right here. Right there. Where we're all going to, most of us are going to be camped in this area. And the state park goes all the way from this boat ramp. Big place, big place. A starved rock state park is where we're looking at. But yeah. And here's the actual starved rock, which is one of the hikes that I would like to do. The starved rock hike, starting at the um, visitor center, if we park here and then start on the hike, and actually go to the starved rock, well, there you go. She's going to give you all the tips, all the info on her meetup, her plans, what she wants to do. And as you can see, she drives around and shows you some stuff, too. So if you want to see the uh, accommodations, if you will, the facilities <laughs> and what the state park is. Yeah, she drives around and shows you a little bit. So if you're interested in RV Rebel Girls, a meetup, go over to her channel, find a video. And again... I make it easy for you. I make it real easy for you to find these videos that I am referencing. So you go over to and watch her video and see uh, what she's talking about, and what's what, and see if you're interested. You can uh, go check it out. And speaking of meetups, we have we have the original Palooza starter <laughs> herself. She has some updates as well. So this That's is right. Be the fifth annual Lollapalooza, and I'm really looking forward Bam. to it. Already, man. It's going to be held October 20th through the 23rd. Always in October. State Park. I believe. It's the same place we had it last year. It worked out really well because they have a huge, big wagon wheel with a meeting hall in the middle, and that way everybody from the entire campground had a place to gather and a place if it was to rain or something to get out of the rain and still be together. That's right. It was uh, pretty cool. I was there in person, but they had the big blind views watch party. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I had a bunch of people call in from there, and it was uh, it was real fun. Seemed like a good time. I didn't hear any complaints, and uh, I am uh, always involved a little bit somehow. I I make the logo for uh, the event every year. I've been doing it so. Uh, as long as I can see and as long as I can still draw and as long as Lola wants me to, I will continue to uh, make the logos. She sells shirts and sometimes she makes banners and all kinds of other good things with with the logo. But yeah, so uh, she does have the logo and uh, she is in the process of doing whatever she does to get the, the stuff going. I don't know. I just do my part and I send it to her and it's in her hands, but... <laughs> Usually she has to bug me. Did you, uh, I don't mean to bug. Did, did you? Did you hint, hint, hint? Did you say anything yet? But I got on early this year, and uh, I had a good time. And I always, I always enjoy uh, the videos. I did attend one year, and it was a blast. And I hope to uh, get there again another year. This year, not sure. Some people do ask, but hey, with the way prices are of everything, and it is a long way from Pennsylvania to Texas. And again, with the prices of food lodging gasoline and everything else i don't know if the old blind guy can swing it or not and no i'm not ebay i'm not asking anybody to send me money so i can go if i can go i can go i will take my own damn self i am totally capable of paying my own way you don't have to send me money no that's not what i'm talking about all right We got the Dan Van next. Let's talk about the Dan Van. He's in Quartzsite. Yeah, Quartzsite. Check it out. I mean, it's a whole new, whole new oh, world. Yes, the streets, they are empty once more. <laughs> Used to be a nice big red tent building there. This is all pretty much emptied out. Silly Owls is over here. Got a few customers for lunchtime because it's 11:38, but <laughs> the damn van. Go check it out. It's actually pretty. I found it. I found it quite interesting. It's uh, you know, you, you usually see all the the courtside videos during the courtside madness when 
where he was <laughs> the traffic's all lined up there's cars coming in and out of all the places and it's all backed up and 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 the big tent and there's this lines at the at the shitter dump and everywhere <laughs> so it's kind of interesting to see quartzite you know what it's like that little empty town with barely anything going on before the two million RVers <laughs> show up and flood the place with chaos <laughs> and then blame all the locals for all the destruction and the mattresses and all the stuff that's dumped in the middle of the desert. It's the 50 <laughs> locals that live there. It's not the two million RVers that bombard the place and fuck everything up. No, it's the five people that actually live there that are running around trash and everything. But hey, <laughs> I think it's funny. I do. I do think it's funny. I'm not saying all RVers are horrible and nasty people, but, you know, they're like every other group. Our group would never do that. We're awesome. We're perfect. We're beautiful people. We're here. We're one with nature. We would never dump our shit in the washes. We would never let our dogs run through the desert and shit and piss everywhere. No, we wouldn't do that. We would never throw out a spare tire or <laughs> an old mattress or no, no, no. Yeah, there's scumbags in every community, and I'm sure some of them, walk among you whether you want to <laughs> admit it or not <laughs> oh man but anyway it is interesting to see the quiet little court site before it gets invaded by the wheeled wonders so go over to the dan van and check out his video on court site all right let us wrap this one up with tracy from adventures over 50 she is home with her lovely beautiful mother joy and uh tracy has a new look i i think i i was so excited and i had all the energy in the world i i've never look at that I've hardly is ever that tracy said. is that tracy is it uh, yes you know, she's got a new look things but i've never been real sick shocking at first so but I've hey really she still looks good way. and so when thursday uh, came and i came here and you were on the couch like this i know <laughs> I can't I have, get up. it i tell you folks uh it, it's uh it, it's funny not to have any energy it, i mean it's not funny yeah she talks she uh was was ill and uh but if you want to hear all the stories about what joy uh she's always just that a joy very very cool lady for sure and i'm happy to see that she is doing well her old chip herself and uh yeah very cool but yeah i just thought i'd wrap it up with tracy and her new look so i hope you enjoyed this little uh i don't know what you want to call it wrap up uh <laughs> of the wheeled wonders letting you know in case you missed anything stuff that i found interesting and thought uh noteworthy and i'm definitely i'm probably gonna go keep an eye out for that tv show gutted with steffi lee in it and uh see how she fares as a big tv star so hey you just never know you do this stuff on youtube somebody might see you and might want to put your pretty mug on the tv and no i know it's not going to happen for this ugly old guy <laughs> that's not what i'm saying but hey, you don't have to agree with me. That's never the point. The point is. Okay, this is blind views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud. Loud. Loud.